And how do you access, request an access for the Bing? Once you get an access, how do you use it? How do you search? Other pieces, how do you compose a blog or social media post or other features of the, and some examples which we'll be using in the search section, microsoftbing.com. And then you can type in just a bing.com. You'll see it say, try it, or you go directly bing.com slash new and it will present you this page. You go on to join the waitlist. You put it in your email address, which is a Microsoft Outlook email uh, you can use. And then once you have that entered, and then you'll wait now for the your access to be approved. While you're waiting for the access, you'll go ahead and go to the Bing browser, and you can download Edge browser, which has um, neat features in there. Once you logged in, you'll see you download the Edge Dev browser. Yeah, Ajla. So I'm saying her uh, her book is coming out and saying who that. So I entered it. A website showed up, and it's typical like we've seen like uh, some of those things. Um, the and detail about this individual or anything you're searching basically. And once you see that, so you, you'll see search here and then you'll see little button right here, chat. If you click on that, it's going to turn into a chat function. Similar to chat GPT, it's but more nicer looking. And now it's basically searching for this search term, which we had entered in the search box in the first place. So it's basically telling you information about who this person is, what does they do, and basically a detail about her. So saying it's a poet and small things. And it knows actually there's a novel coming up in spring of her. So you say, tell me more about her novel. So you click on it. And what it, where it gathers information from is gathers from her website, other articles, other places, LinkedIn, Twitter, so on. So it's basically searching the net and getting you the information. So here's the information about the novel saying Nexo Twin is a suspense thriller novel about two sisters separate by birth and so on. So it's giving you a synopsis of that. And now it's saying, oh, are you interested in reading about this book? So yes, I am. You say, yep. Yeah. And then now it's going to tell you where this possible, this book is available. It's saying it is available uh, for pre-order, but you can also follow actually Jazz on Twitter and Instagram and other places for a sneak peeks. So this is basically it. So you're having an individual chat while you're searching for this information or any information in this case. So let's set, actually this is, we are done with it. We'll click on new topic. You click on here, it clears up your chat function. You want to continue here, you can certainly ask another question or something else. Or you go back to your normal search and you say clear and then you search for, um, let's say, um, tell me about uh, city of Lahore. Pakistan. So I enter it and it just gave me information about Lahore, like we've seen in a normal search. But here's a chat function again. Well, we can click on that and it will take us to this chat section again. Here, it's searching right now what this um, is about, the details on the city and so on. And now it just presented information. So we wanted to, let's say we are uh, going to go there and we would like to we are traveling, we want to see what the attractions are and landmarks. We just click on this middle button right here. The features of this chat functions are like they already pre-generate the questions for you. You don't even have to type. You click on it and it's going to present you an answer. And we're just waiting for it now. So let's see. And from there, um, we just wait. And the horror is actually a landmark attraction showcasing a rich history and culture. And some of the most popular places are. It'll give you an answer for those places. 
And you can hover over these, and this is where it's picking up the information from. So it's basically searching the internet and finding you the answers or summarizing it in a sense that you are you're looking for this information. Go and click on it, and, and then it will present you this window called chat. So you can continue the similar chat or another topic, uh, or you can compose. There's another window. So let's say we wanted it to write about the uh, same thing. We're writing a blog or a blog post. You can go say, write me to Instagram post about Lahore City. I just type that in. What kind of tonal you need and what kind of format you want. Is a blog post or ideas? Is it long or short or medium size? And you generate the draft. You click on it. It's going to write it for you in this those are uh, a blog basically it's going to generate a draft version so it's basically giving you an idea what the basic information is about and then there it's going to write you including it's going to go add you a hashtag as well so you have pretty powerful uh features here so it's giving you information about that did you know about this lower Blah, 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 <laughs> and additional information. Very ex wonderfully done. And basically, and there's another uh, feature is insights. So is basically giving you an insight on on some of the traffic, some of the things you, you've been doing, and then so on. Um, where does it? Bing.com is that the site you are on. They give you insight on that. Let's say you are on a different website. Uh, under Under this chat function here, you have gone to uh this site for example then it will present you the insight about that site um is more details of features in there so overall if you look at it and it's pretty you can compose similarly you can uh, if you don't like this you can ask it to read write again so it will reach your nate um or you'd like the different tone for it you want it funny you want it informational you want it to be casual you know um, so basically, choices are there. So this is how you use, or you can go ahead and chat more. Basically, ask more questions about it. Um, what is the um, what is the weather um, in Lahore now? And then it's, it will you can talk about that topic. So or you certainly have to ask questions about anything again. It's the same thing, but you're having a discussion, um, basically having a chat. You certainly can have a different topic here, searching, but you're going to have a separate questions here. This is what it is, and then hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you very much.